Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. The time is now 624. Our friend, science genius, Craig Beals is here from Billings Senior High, here with another fun, exciting experiment today. Now, this involves a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. we have some safety goggles standing by, some earplugs, and some sort We've of antique that Ed uh, was talking about. His grandfather and great-grandfather had to use at work. So this is, this yeah. is interesting. What do you have um, today? Well, this, this is pretty exciting. So I finally brought some calcium carbide to the show. And calcium carbide is one of my favorites in the class. Um, it is, it looks like a little sort of a, a rock, a little black uh -huh. pebble here, but it's not. It is calcium carbide, which is calcium with some carbon. Can I hold that? Carbons. Hold it, yeah, go ahead and okay. hold it. Just so that I'm gonna add a little bit of water I don't know to if we it. Can, here, I'll put it in my hand just a little yeah. bit. For just a moment, just so everybody can see. It kind of looks like little, little pebbles. And, and while like he's that. doing that, I'll add some water to this tray. I was thinking what chocolate happens? chips, but it, yeah, they chocolate look like yeah. chocolate chips. <laughs> that so you don't want to eat. Oh, it's starting they're fizzing. to dissolve. Okay. We'll have you put your glasses on there. All right. And yeah, as it dissolves, starts it turns fizzing into with you around. I put glasses <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, it turns into acetylene. So, um, what's happening is the calcium carbide is dissolving, and acetylene mm -hmm. gas is coming up off the top. We'll add a little more water so you can see this. And acetylene gas is highly combustible. Mm -hmm. In fact, welders use acetylene and oxygen and an oxyacetylene torch to cut, st cut steel because okay. it, gets, uh, it gets so hot and it burns so well. I'm going to move this Kay. over here because be what's idea. cool about that, just sitting there burning isn't all that fantastic, but this is a miner's carbide lamp. Mm -hmm. So coal miners use these right. and Ed was saying he's got some experience with this. Yeah. So um, this would go up on the coal miner's head and then we put some acetylene down here in the bottom, and the top part drips water. So I'm going to drip, let it drip a little bit of water, just like there I dripped are. water on the last one. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go ahead and add oh, some to this. Okay. Okay. And then the um, acetylene gas comes out the front. It sneaks out the front there where the mirror is, and um, produces a gas so we can light on fire. And I just put a little bit in there because we don't want a big, huge flame. Mm -hmm. So let's see how we're doing. And yep. this is what's starting to glow there. there little tiny guys starting to glow. And I only put about an ounce in there. So they'd wear this on their head down in the mines. And mm -hmm. you can sort of smell and taste it. I can't imagine. Uh huh. I only can't imagine that packing light. one of those around in there. Yeah, you got a live flame on your head while you're walking around. <laughs> yeah, know. all the time. Safety yeah. first. Safety but, first. Um, but a pretty ingenious contraption. You just had to have a handful of carbide, some water, mm -hmm. and you could have light down in the mine. So mm -hmm. I'm going to shut that one down. Okay. This was my grandma's, so uh -huh. or it was her dad's, uh -huh. and he used it in 1938 in Wyoming wow. in, uh, in a mine there. But if we take all of that, put all the pieces together, we end up with this. Now this is just PVC pipe. We've got a hole drilled in it right here. Okay. And we're going to put some carbide in this part, add some water, uh -huh. and then see what happens when acetylene is under pressure. Okay. All right. All right. All right, so, I'm a little nervous. And this is, I'm guessing, after this is where the cleaning crew comes in. Good, we'll cleaning some of those. Comes in. And yeah. then I've got one more carbide. I'm using a little tiny amount of carbide, just so anybody out there is concerned. A little tiny amount. Yeah, <laughs> an ounce. Okay. Give or take. Okay, then I'm All just right. going to add some water to the end of the tube. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to stuff some things down in there. And then we'll light it. Are we safe standing here? You're totally safe standing okay. there. In fact, right. you Cameraman light it? is not safe though, right? Uh, he'll, yeah, he'll be all right. <laughs> We're kidding, pointing in the middle. He's got just that kidding. really <laughs> nice, expensive camera <laughs> blocking his way. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ed, do you want to light it or do you want me sure. to light it? Good knowing you. Put on your head. <laughs> oh, I, I, I need you to hear There's at that. the end okay. of the day. Okay, right. there you go. So we'll put those on. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to add this, and it takes about less than 20 seconds or so. So I'll keep track of the time. So I'm picturing that fizzling gonna, at the bottom okay. of the tube right now, right? It is, yeah, good, okay. yeah, it's fizzing down there. It's releasing that acetylene gas. My uh, my kids just cut up some stuff there. Where do we Thanks, apply kids. the flame? <laughs> We're gonna apply the flame right back here. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. There's gonna on be a hole, hole right here, so as soon as you, when you, go ahead and light it, and then I'll lift it up. Are you ready? Okay, hold on, hold on. In Kay. three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. there's our calcium carbide. Uh huh. That's a lot of pressure. I mean, to push all that stuff out, you put put a rag in there, you put all yeah. that confetti in. So, yeah. 
big well, in impact fact, there. Yesterday I had it out on the football field and we were shooting about 150 yards. Little, really? Little Woo. ball, yeah, out of the wow. end. So it'll go. Mm -hmm. And the, the more obviously you put in, the bigger exactly. boom it is. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Well, Craig, thank you so much. It's always a good time when you come on. And, of course, we'll have you back in a few more weeks. So get your next one planned. I'm curious what you have. Will do. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back after this break, everyone. The time is now 629.